Amy, last time I stood to speak to you like this, there wasn't a dry eye in the house, so today I will avoid the soppy professions of love for their sake. So here we are at last, not getting married, but instead celebrating firstly that we did, and secondly, that you haven't chucked me one year on. <laughs> Though I'm sure you've been tempted. We've faced a tough year together. Make no mistake, I'm not saying it was tough to be married to you. Quite the opposite, actually. As everything in our lives seemed to bring extra stress, you were my support, my loving wife to come home to. In the space of one year, you've heard this part, we lived with my parents, moved to a new house and welcomed our beautiful boy into the world, all while I quit my job and went back to study again. We packed a lot of challenges into a short period and I'm so pleased to say it's only made us stronger. That's not to say we didn't struggle, but it's to clarify that when the dust settled we knew we were in this for the long haul. So I'm very pleased to be here today in what feels like a culmination of celebrations. We've endured a lot of challenges so now it's just plain sailing, right? Of course that won't be true, but there's no one I'd rather face it all with. Our relationship has entered its second decade now, but we have set the counter back to one and I can't think of a better place for it. We celebrate one year married now, one year being parents, one year of our new family. When you begin a relationship at the age we did, you don't necessarily think of it turning into decades, but as we reset the counter, I'm certainly thinking in decades now. I look back at my vows from last year where I called you the most caring and affectionate person I know, which remains to be true of course and remains to be to my frustration and that of Rory's as you mother us and scrub at us long after we would like to let you. Whilst you've reduced myself and poor Rory to tears with your care and affection, we never hold a grudge as it comes from such a deep place of love and that's what I tell myself and the boy. Seriously though, I could not envisage a better mother for our son. I cannot begin to thank you for everything you do for him. My feelings of love for our son extend beyond what I thought possible until I saw your love for him. I picked my partner well and look forward to loving you for the rest of my life. I wish you all the success, love and greatness. And I think that the key ingredients for such success are patience, kindness and respect. So may you always have each other's back and may that initial friendship you started continue to blossom for years to come.